Welcome to Still Please Galaxy of Heroes. This is Grand Arena, the penultimate match of season 21. I am marching towards Kyber. We have always hit Kyber. Need to make sure I do it. I made things a little tense for me by goofing around too much in the first two weeks. My opponent here, Greek goalkeeper, looking at his Grand Arena history, he actually played Cyber Killer last week. Or Saber Killer last week. We're not going to do a recap of this match because Saber Killer attacked early last round. All of his, that breakdown of how he performed is in the last video. But I do want to highlight here the performance of Kira with this modified timeout squad with Quill and IG 11 in the place of Mission and Zelbar. This is a team I've been talking about in the comments with Country Roads. Why isn't this going? There. Sometimes I gotta back in and out before I can click on things because of. I feel like that's a blue stacks problem. I don't know if that happens to me when I'm on my phone. Which, by the way, CG, you need to fix Android so I can listen to a podcast and play this game. I wanted to put that in the latest talk video, but I forgot to rant about it again. I've only been ranting about it in these Grand Arena videos. Uh, so we got five defense here. That may not mean anything. Well, I will be checking on how that performs. Uh, in a few days when we get to see how uh, what teams were used against them on defense. But my opponent, Greek goalkeeper, was that his name? Greek goalkeeper, this is what he is using in the arenas. He's got GL Ray and the negotiator. When we take a look at the hotbot, we see... Fairly even on the colors. He's got an edge in GP. I've got the edge in lifetime banners, but that's a solid amount. The undersizes and clears are pretty good, but the un undersizes he does them, but it's a fairly low number. He's got an edge in the top 80 GP, but we're even on gear 13. He doesn't have a lot of bloat in the gear 12. That's good. He's got better overall speed. Pretty close on the six dot mods, and that's and really what you're what I'm looking for here is the amount of six dot mods per the quality of his mods. And considering he only has ten more six dot mods than me, but he has significantly more ten plus speed mods, he's got a good set of mods. When it comes to the fifteen plus and twenty plus, we're a little bit closer, but he has a big edge on the ten plus. And then relics, not even a lot of bloat here. A little bit more in the tier 5. Really comes down to the tier 6 where he has 3 more than me. And then he, I'm guessing though, looking at the counts, he has a lot of relic zeros. Because I have 10 more uh, tier 1 to 3 relics. And I haven't done the math there. Maybe that checks. No, it's the tier 4. He's got more tier 4. So cat, no cat. He has relic 6 on Jedi Knight Luke. The rest of this is fine. Gear 12 GBA would be better, but as long as GBA is not on defense, it doesn't really matter. And then he has a faster negotiator, probably because he's got a relic seven or eight GK. I've got a, I've got a relic five GK. That that was good enough for countering the malevolence. But we're gonna jump in here. to our match, but I don't have a ton of time. I want to make this as quick as possible. My defense is mostly the same as last round, but we'll quickly take a look at it. And if we're lucky, he's already started attacking me, but we're not that lucky. So Shock T is back on defense. This is because gas is being typically used in other locations. I've got other G Grievous counters, especially now with the Bad Batch. This Empire team has been doing a whole lot of nothing for me, but maybe it's drawing out stronger counters. Testing out Kira again, and Mon Mothma still does a good amount of work. Especially that one, because with the gear 11 there, people tend to... Sometimes they underestimate it, thinking it's easier than it is. Not really understanding the synergy of those characters. Now we got Darth Revan, who is a staple. JTR has become a staple. 
I changed up the Mandalorian squad a little bit, left Beskar Mando, but uh, put in Gar Saxon instead of Django. Django was there last round. But they went down and won, so maybe they used a strong counter. Maybe they didn't. I have no idea. In the back wall, we got the standards of Grievous and Padme. And Newt has been sent into the back wall. I used to have them on the front wall a lot, but I think what I like about them on the back wall is they're a slightly tricky team that you should have a counter for. And it's a lot easier to deal with Newt when you know you have to deal with Newt. What it, hopefully, the front wall draws out a counter and makes Newt a little bit more difficult. And it happened last round. My opponent needed two shots up against Newt. Now, my opponent today, Greek goalkeeper. Looks like we got Padme. Seal us. See less without C-3PO, too. Padme has his C-3PO, and it's a lower relics on a, on this Padme team, except for the Relic 8 GK. We got a Beskar Mando squad, which is fine. There's the Newt. It's a solid defense. But we might be okay, depending on this lower wall. Because that's actually a lot on that upper wall. Alright, so his Geo Ray's down there. We've got Night Sisters. And we got First Order. I'm just pausing a moment thinking about First Order because... The typical teams I use to counter it are on defense right now. Like JTR... And lately I've been using Beskar Mando, but Beskar Mando I put on defense. Also, that would have required Quill on IG-11. It doesn't matter. It's not The gear is not super strong there. We'll figure it out. Now, Ray here. We probably won't. We'll just not take any chances. The only... Th and there's not, I guess there's not much incentives because there's no team I have for gas because the clones are on defense. Let me fix this camera real quick. It might be nice to save Jedi Knight Revan. But we're not going to. There's, there's just too much incentive not to take the chance. Maybe if I would have paid more attention to see if there was a tank there. Because if there's no tank, then we could have just focused on Ray. But I I know the resistance heroes are there. I was not paying enough attention to who else was there. Yeah, Holdo was there. We do our E-Flux. We're going to mark Ray. We'll throw up the master's training over on gas. I just focus down on Ray. Get the inherited teachings over there. Increase the cooldowns. I'm gonna swap with somebody with some turn meter. Triggered the damage immunity. And now we're just going to spread Inherited Teachings. We'll have the ultimate off in a second. Fine, I don't care. There, that should be enough for the ultimate. Definitely with this.
I'll stun everybody. And we will have Ray out of there in a second. We're doing the AoE first because that'll take her out and then, yeah, there goes the armor shred. On Finn plus triggering, we also triggered on F on Finn there. Poe will be able to trigger right now with this hit or just take him out. We're gonna do a swap. And while we're waiting on them to take their turns, we'll try and trigger Holdo or just take her out. Okay, so Ray is dealt with, and we know he doesn't have Ray to deal with my defense. He's actually probably going to have some problems on my defense. Because without Padme, without CLS, without his Ray, I mean, he still has his own Darth Revan. He's got Gas, he's got Jedi Luke. So, I mean, he still has three really solid teams. Let me just do Troopers here. See how quick I can do this. I need to create a preset for troopers. Should have made a coffee before this. Strip that turn meter, get that train going. We're gonna just start hitting everybody with all these AOEs. I should have selected somebody else. I'm gonna throw the armor shred over on DACA. This troop, this Night Sister team isn't going to be much of an issue. Just start taunting, and just keep doing the AoEs, get more of this turn meter train going. We're going to hit zombie, get some more turn meter. We do the AoE. We're going to try and death mark Daka here. So there goes Daka. We'll hit zomb, not zombie, uh, spirit for some turn meter there. We'll get some more turn meter here. Now whoever goes down will just stay down. Okay. I just, I love these troopers. I wish I didn't have to have a relegate Pia. Kylo here. What I hate about teams like this Kylo is like, I don't want to take too much, but I also don't want to do not bring in enough. I wish I had Beskar Mando. I'm so tempted to bring in Ewoks. That's how I feel right now. Cause look at that, you got Hux, Fox. What can I, I still want to do scoundrels. Because if we look at these scoundrels, because Cat, does some work, work out. I don't want to think about this. We're just going to do bounty hunters and be done with it.
Bounty Hunters I'm not really using in other ways right now. And usually Django's on defense. But this is overkill for this, this squad. And I don't really like to have these like massive this these massive mis mismatches uh, between squads. I'd like to bring something that is closer. Boba Fett does so much damage now. The Relic Eight Boba Fett. I'm just gonna try it. Let's see what you can do. See, that's, look at what Execute does now. Some characters, like TIE Fighter Pilot, has been really frustrating where I feel like both for his ship and the character, the Relic hasn't done enough. And maybe it's because it's only Relic 3 or whatever, but that Relic 8 on Boba Fett, you feel it. I wish Slave 1 was a little better though. Slave 1 still feels a little weak. Doesn't do much for survivability. The rework of Slave 1 though is nice. Alright, we're going to Rebel Assault this. My Rebels are going to just smash this. Wedge, Biggs, Captain Han, Lando, and Leia. That's my Rebel Assault. The dumbest counter. Not the... It was more fun when I used the Resistance Heroes. Like Gear 11 Resistance Heroes to take out full Relic Rebels. All right, we're going to hit Captain Han first. Do the AoE. I'm surprised Lando's not here. There goes their revive. Let's just take out Luke quickly because he's a shot away. Huh? Right. I'm gonna throw this on Leia, I guess. That's that's all the protection I got back. Hoping to get like a protection banner back. Rebel Assault. that up the cracking of my sternum right there mm. 
I keep wanting to talk about the talk video I just recorded about Fennec Shan, but I'm going to post that before this one. So that would make no sense. But since I just recorded it, it's on it's on the mind. Alright, let's check this at Spy. I always have to remind myself that I have a Relic 7 Vader here, and this isn't my new account. Because it's... My approach is very different with the Gear 11 Vader on the new account. Alright, what do I want to do this? Troopers. Pretty weak troopers. They just want geos? We could just geos them, right? Yeah, let's just geos. Making good time so far, but that top wall is going to require a lot more thinking. All right, they've got a big speed advantage, but a lot of that is from the lead on Veers. Not the biggest fan of all that days. All right. Are you guys going to do this much damage to my Geos? Oh my god. Good for you guys. So I love troopers. I mean, these my Geos are trash, but I still thought I had the gear advantage. That was fun. I see there's only two gear 11. Gear 10 trooper. Stormtrooper is awesome. I love Stormtrooper. But gear 9. That's just a. T this, I mean, uh, I'm a victim of my own like advice in that scenario where I just said, like. That's why I favor new kits. Those, those characters are good. Can't be mad about that. I still don't want to take something too strong up against them. We'll come back to that. I don't want to think about it. We got to think about these other squads. Don't complain to me. All right, CLS. We'll probably take my own CLS there. So we got CLS, we've got Night Sisters. Where would I use my Night Sisters? Night Sisters could easily handle Beskar. What is that? Both it is on Django. Let's double check which Zeta this is. It's the unique, so he's going to prevent revives. Alright, I think this is what we're going to do. We're going to do CLS against CLS. We're going to try that. I could be safe and do Treya 
up against this Padme, but I want to use the Bad Batch. I just want to do it. All right, let's get into this. We're wasting too much time thinking. We we gotta. I just haven't thought through Newt yet. I just want to make sure we don't do anything dumb with Newt. And I think we might. You, you gotta have a plan for Newt, and right now I don't. And I'm concerned. I'm concerned like the CLS squad might might have been one of the better options. Let's just get rid of Han. Just go down. All right, let's take out Chewy, get rid of that guard. Oh, he's under stealth. handles that problem. The question is, do we be dumb or smart? Maybe Bad Batch would be better against Newt. Yeah, that Django is going to mess them up. We're going to do it here. I've had mixed results doing this. But they're all gear 11. We got a five star Omega. It's a rel only a Relic 3 Jedi Knight Anakin though. And it really it comes down to the RNG on Anakin doing his AOE. Because if that goes poorly, he can wipe out a bunch of these guys. That I would love to mark Anakin with Omega. These guys are fast too. He's got some good mods on these guys. Cause my my guys are pretty fast too. For Gear Eleven characters. All right, let's check this. Got some good stuns. We're gonna go with the AOE. Everyone's mostly healed, so we'll do another AoE. Got another stun. We're gonna throw the buff immunity over on Kenobi. Or try to. See, there's one AoE. See, all the protection's gone. This is what I'm worried about. I'm gonna recover. Do it. Does this give any turn meter? No. We're gonna throw this. An echo, I guess. We're going to switch to... This is where I always get in trouble. This turn switch. This We're fine now, but if their health is really low, this could go poorly. It's not in this case. We're going to swap with Wrecker just to heal up. We got a lot of protection back from that. We got to make sure we don't lose time. God, I wish I could mark him right now. I'm gonna do this, heal up a bit. See, I'm like, I'm glad I healed up a bit. All right, this is not gonna go well for me. Yeah, we're just gonna quit. 
maybe if my mods were different and stuff. It's like I've I've had success in previous Gex and in Territory Wars, but it it comes down to your opponent's mods and a bunch of other stuff. We're just gonna do Treya. It would have been nice if it had worked. But I don't think it's reliable enough at gear 11 to really do. I keep trying to make it work though. But the speed he has on these guys, he's probably gonna cause some problems right here too. Let's clear most of those foresights. We got two cooldowns though. I'm gonna swap Treya throwing the isolate there, decrease the cooldowns on Annihilate, and we are going to Fracture Padme in a second. Alright, now we can clear all that Retribution. She was in the yellow, that would have been so nice. I'm gonna hit Kenobi because he's fracture or under isolate. Hit Anakin. Get my held by hatred, clear all this. We got a turn coming up soon where we can hopefully take out Anakin. Ah, don't wanna waste, all right, fine, fine. This is kind of a waste, but we need to take out Anakin. Because if I would've annihilated anyone else, I guess I could've just saved the annihilated turn. That probably would have been the better choice. Because if I would have annihilated anyone, it would have triggered the AoE from Anakin. Fracture on Padme again. Rip out Ahsoka. Padme is probably going to be out of here before we get the next Annihilate. Take out Kenobi with it. Oh, wait. And there goes Padme. That's the only reason I bring Savage into these battles. It's kind of useless. Sometimes he just dies. Sith Marauder might be better, honestly. If I had relics on Sith Marauder, I would definitely do it. There we go. Can do Night Sisters here. This because it makes no sense to bring Night Sisters up against Newt, or not Newt, but against a Django. But I'm really wondering if. I shouldn't have used CLS. I 
I wish I had the bounty hunters for that new team, honestly. That would have been a much better use. That's why I like to plan out things in advance instead of like playing free like this. Some Sometimes it goes well, but... I guess most of the time it probably goes well, but... I should be going after Quill, what am I doing? Nice. Nice. That is, it's good to have him out of the way right away. Because the pairing of IG-11 and Quill gets really annoying. Take him out. Oh, oh, oh. Vandor here's got the Zeta. Let's address that problem. Even though this is a low gear team, even with his troopers, I like what he's doing on his defense. Because instead of using a team like the Old Republic, who are not good on defense and would have just been three points for me, he's using a team that has decent synergy that I don't want to go too weak against. And if, because a team like that, you risk if you go too weak against that, they mess you up. Oh man, how am I going to deal with this? Did I do Bastila? I think we do this. I don't like it. But it's probably my best team left. Django can counter Jolie a little bit, but the protection up from Basila should help keep people alive long enough where I'm more actually concerned about Newt doing some damage. We're going to Call assists onto Dooku, try and take Dooku out. Oh, okay, right away. Spread the foresight. With the tenacity up, like Django will be less of a problem. That's annoying. Can we do a nice big hit over on Nest here? Not quite. We're gonna have to time those hits. This AOE might be enough for Newt. Not quite, it was close. I'm just waiting on Django to take his turn. We're actually going to pay the extortion. Ooh, don't do that. The taunt. Jolie can take out Newt. Let's see if we can dispel or stun. Perfect. I'm going to spread buffs. And now try and take out Nest. Perfect. All right.
I just don't want Wampa to get protection up again. I just want to get him out of the way first. Alright. Now, as long as we can take out Django before he takes another turn, we don't have to worry about losing Ezra. All right. Less of a problem than I was worrying about. We're doing this pretty fast so far. Just wipe out these troopers. Guys, the thing is, these guys are fast. So a lot of the dumb things I can do are going to be vulnerable. So I don't know, think I should be doing dumb things. Like these droids would be dumb, but it would be fun to do. And if I wasn't concerned about time, I would probably do it. I don't have great options. I was like, we're gonna get through it. It's just a matter of how many teams we take up against it. And I don't like this, because this is weak, and I know they're gonna take out several characters. Because they are fast. I almost need somebody to boost my speed so I can match what they're doing. I wonder if I should use my Night Sisters. Because even though troopers counter Night Sisters well, I got I would have the gear advantage and the AI is not gonna play it right. Wampa is tempting. What kind of bounty hunters do we have? bring in these other characters because they're so weak like I know they're gonna go down Could probably, maybe we bring in Cad Bane I'll be like Wampa Bring in bears. Let's just do something like that. I'm bringing the relics just for the extra survivability. They got some nice AoEs and other things. Wampa, I'm really counting on to do most of the work. Barris will help out a little bit with her Zeta and the heal. See, this is why I was afraid of Cad. Look at this. Barris is doing her job. All right, heal up. We got defense up. I need my other turns. Like, I really need Wampa. Ah, oh, that's a bad turn meter train. Oh my god. 
These are weak troopers. I love troopers. <laughs> I gotta close this down. Uh, hopefully, I did that in time. All right. Can't believe these troopers. This is why I tell all of you to get troopers. And I actually don't deal with them too much on defense. I, I really underestimated these guys. So much so, I'm tempted to do Jawas right now. Because I don't trust my first order to survive this. I don't trust the Jawas, obviously, to survive this, but with all those assists, they should get a decent amount of thermals. They just might kill off all my Jawas before they explode. And they have preloaded turn meter. Look at it. Oh, I was reading that wrong. Okay, see, this is why I love Jawas, too. This is why I need to gear up my Jawas. It's wonderful. They're, they're on my list now. I have almost everything else done that Jawas are on the to-do list. Wish I would have pulled them out earlier. Because that just killed the time I was making. Okay, just kind of blanked for a second. Ouch. Do you have a good sergeant? All right, eh. the stealth is gonna be triggered there. Not super happy about it, but we can take care of fives. Beautiful, we're good now. Yeah, let's bring in Spy. Rip out Sergeant. Probably has a re uh, reinforcement coming in. in a All right, we got it. We got it. And I'm not even gonna look at this because I know he had like 
his Han was either not relict or low relics. So I am confident my rebels are better. Although there's that crazy day we had like a week or two ago where my opponent got some incredible RNG on his Falcon and got just a ton of assists and I wasn't getting any. I feel like those Jawas cost me 10 minutes in this video. I'm not the Jawas, the troopers. And those were gear 8, gear 9 Jawas. You can see with like some gear 11 Jawas. I mean, we probably still would have lost one, but maybe we wouldn't have lost uh, two. I'm gonna try and take out Y Wing first. That might be a bad idea. Okay, perfect. Seriously? Jeez. Alright, we're gonna bring in the Ewing. Hopefully I get enough assists. This is what we're trying to do here. I'm just gonna go for the hit. Because we weren't gonna get enough turn meter. I don't want to risk anything. Okay, that should be a win. I'm not expecting him to clear me. He put his best stuff up on uh, defense. Oh, we hit Kyber. We are still... What's the word I'm looking for? We're still... We've always hit Kyber. There's a word I'm looking for, but it's not coming to me. We're gonna switch to the new account now. And because I was recording a video, that wasn't set up right. And we are back. Let's see how fast we can go through this new account. Do we need to do a recap? We probably need to do a recap. Let me quickly back out. Oh, he's already attacked and cleared me. All right, that'll be interesting. So, say Dajin, let's review you quick. I don't remember if you attacked before I did. I think the way this worked is he one-shot everything but didn't have a solution for ships. And I think he only took one shot up against ships. Yeah, so that's one shots. And one attempt against fleet here. Yeah. Now, let's look at today's opponent. Because he full cleared me, we're going to take a look at his roster. He's got a Vader, that's his Geo solution, hopefully. He's got some synergy there. I'm taking a look at his roster. It already looks like a decent amount of Gear 11s and Zetas. And it's all the right characters for the mo It's a little much for, for Ezra, but if you're going to overgear a Phoenix character, Ezra's not the worst. 
That's all pretty good. He probably doesn't have as many of the things that I do, but he's got some good stuff. He's got some good gear. So looking at this, probably just one shot my squads, because my squads are not good. Fleet gave me any wiggle room. No, so he one shot everything. So we got to play smart and clean. And he's got Phoenix. He's, he's got Boba Fett. So we got okay bounty hunters, but he's got adequate Phoenix. But they're good enough Phoenix to get a seven star Thrawn. So we can't we can't like throw trash at them. Geos are in line. Bastila is not going to be a problem. Let's start with Geos. His Geos should be straightforward. They're not overly geared or anything. I kind of want to keep. Some of these trooper options. But you know what? Let's just be safe. We have plenty of good teams. So we got Jedi Knight Revan, Darth Revan, Seal Us, Bounty Hunters. Like we can just use my best teams. We should we should just do that. We can use my best teams. We can see if there's an opportunity to undersize, and see how things go on banners. We won't take any chances. All right, we check this at soldier. We're gonna just start throwing down ability blocks. We're not getting lucky on the ability blocks. We got the one that really matters though. Pago can still clean them though, so that's a little bit of a concern. All right, and this is why I brought in Stormtrooper and Piet. gonna hit Poggle, see if we can get that ability block. No, but he's almost dead. I'm gonna swap with Vader. Poggle, though, is still could cleanse. All right. Good. Now we just got to decide which team we're using where. Bastila is tank, tank. Nothing and weak attacker. And no Zeta. We'll use we'll just use bounty hunters here. Cause without the Zeta we we can land all the debuffs we want and they're not gonna be a problem. And no one can really do any damage.
All right, there goes Bastolo. We're just doing basic because I want that double tap for the contract. But there's a chance you could have gone down with with uh, the big hit. Oh, really, we should just ignore I'm a gun die. Because I'm a gun die was what, gear six? Take out Mace, because he still has all that protection up. This will hopefully be enough for most of Obi-Wan. And the next Executor, next big hit will be for... I'm gonna die. Really, at this point in the game, we're like... Beyond 1.5 or whatever, if you don't have the Zeta on Bastila, you should just move on. Cup? Okay. We're going to win this on banners. We're going to take some nonsense there. Let's first look at the top territory. I think we're going to do... We'll do Darth Revan here. Actually, no, let's, let's just do CLS. Because this is the best team left. CLS here is just going to clear it with ease. And I'm going to take some undersized teams against the final two remaining ones. with that here. I get the impression that this was a player who was new and unfamiliar with the game but did his research. So he started getting all the right stuff, building a good roster, but because he's new to the game, wasn't able to like obsessively strategize a route out. But this is a guy who's like who isn't casual kind of figured out, okay, this is what I want to do. Because it's, it's still good choices. And one of the things you see is with Cup on his back wall, that's a consequence of not going broad. It's not like having a bad roster or anything. It's just like I have a lot of teams because of my emphasis on building a broad roster fast. Oh, I need, I need what's his face. Throw fear down on everybody. We're going to hit everybody again, though, before the fear even matters. And we'll wipe out the rest with the shock. Boom. Maybe we should have done more undersizes. Because what I'm thinking here is he could have done some a bunch of solos against me. And like two extra banners, is that really going to be enough? I 
because this will be four extra bins. This will be three extra bins. Really, Yoda's probably enough. It was all low stars and gear, whatever, right? Except for Marauder. We're just going to do a Yoda solo, gear 11 Yoda solo. We might need these banners. I doubt he was soloing me. Oh my god, if, if I end up paying for this, this solo. Okay, I'll be three extra banners actually. We lost protection. There's Kyber on both accounts. I think what I was just trying to say in the last video is we're just we've been perfect on Kyber and we want to maintain it that way. And nothing here. All right, let's just. We're going to win this on banners. And then I got to get out of here. I'm late. Troopers messed me up. banners Twelve. all right well nice showing by give me a plow job please <laughs> yep all right that's another grand arena a talk video should have been released before this and I'm working on a methods video for next week. Be safe out there, everyone. Be excellent to each other. And this is Still Plays Galaxy of Heroes.